Your Discord server banner is the first thing people notice, but what if yours looks kind of boring? Today, I'll show you exactly how to make a stunning professional quality server banner in Photopea, completely free, and it only takes just a few minutes. Whether your server is brand new or you're just revamping an existing community, having a killer banner is key. But don't worry, you don't need Photoshop, you don't need graphic design experience, and you definitely don't need to spend a single dollar. Stick around because I'm going step by step and showing you exactly how to make an eye-catching Discord banner using nothing but Photopea. Let's dive straight into it. First thing you need to do once you're at Photopea.com is click on new project right here. Once you do that, you'll see a bunch of options pop up, but what we want isn't here. So go ahead and go up to width and type in 960. For the height, go with 540. Once done, leave everything else the same except for the name. Change the name to whatever you want. I'm going to name it Discord Banner. Once you're done, click on create. And that's literally all you have to do. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, you got me. That wasn't it, but I'm telling you, it's pretty much that simple. So stick around until the end for a really good product. The first thing we need to do right here is get a background. Now this is completely up to you how you want to get this background. It could be a screenshot you've taken from a game. It could be your favorite picture, maybe your favorite meme, whatever you want your background to be, go ahead and bring it in Photopea. Personally, I'm going to go to Pexels. How do you get Pexels, you may ask? We'll go up to Window, Plugins, and search up Pexels. Another good one is called Free Pick. I'm actually going to use Free Pick, so click Install. Once it's installed, go ahead and click this X. Now you'll see it popped up right here, but I have both options, Pexels or Free Pick. Feel free to use either one. I'm going to click on Free Pick, and I'm going to go ahead and search up my background. Free Pick doesn't seem to be loading, so honestly, screw Free Pick. I'm going to uninstall it right now. Pexels, on the other hand, is going to load for me, so I'm going to go ahead and search up Supercar. You can find a picture here, or you can go to Google and find a different one. Once you find your image from here, go ahead and import it. This is the one I'm going to go with. But because it's the background layer, we do not want it to be the center of focus. So how we're going to fix that is we're going to go up to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. For the blur, I'm going to go with about 2.5, then click OK. Next, I'm going to go up to Image, Adjustments, and Brightness and Contrast. For this, I'm going to go with negative 74, or negative 75 because it looks better. Then click OK. Next up, we're going to add some text. Go to your text tool on the left side of your screen, Go up here and change the font to whatever you like. Personally, my favorites are Anton, Luckiest Guy, Lemon Milk, which is not built in Photopea, but I have tons of videos on my favorite fonts that are not in Photopea, and I show you exactly how to install them. For this tutorial, I'm going to go with Anton. Click anywhere on your canvas and type in your text. I'm going to type in Discord. Once you type it out, double click on your text and go up here to the color and change it to white. Click OK and click this check mark. Then click Control, Alt, and T. Grab one of these boxes with left click and drag it up. Go ahead and bring it to the center of your image, like so. Next up, we're going to go ahead and add some more text, but this time it's going to be server banner. Or actually, you know what? You shouldn't be putting this. You should be putting whatever you want for your server. If you want to follow me just to learn, that's completely cool. But the idea is for me to show you how to make one and you can change it and twist it to whatever you like. So type in whatever text you want. For the sake of the tutorial, I'm typing in Discord server banner and I'm going to move it down right here. You can also use the arrow keys to get more precise. Now to get even more precise, go up to view and show, not show, not show, not show guys, calm down, not show, rulers. If rulers is not here, make sure it is and go over here to the ruler with your move tool and drag it over here. I'm going to drag it to the edge of the D, then I can use my arrow keys and line it up as well. And now you can see it's starting to come together. Next up, we're going to add a line right here. Go to your rectangle tool on the left if it's not there. Right click until you find it in this menu. I'm going to start here and drag it over to about here. And I'm going to keep it kind of thin. Guys, just ignore this weird shape right here. It should not be there. I'm going to use my arrow keys and put it right where the S is. Right where it starts. I'm going to my zoom tool, fit to area. I'm going to figure out how to get rid of this thing because this is pissing me off. I figured it out because I'm the goat. Next up, we're going to change the color of this text and this line. So double click on shape one. Go to color overlay and choose a color that matches your background. Personally, I'm going to go with like a hot pink and click OK. And click OK again. Now, do the same for Discord server banner. Or just server banner, I should say. Go to color overlay and leave it as is. Then click OK. 
Now it's looking super good. Next, we're going to be adding a little wave that goes through the text. But first, let's go ahead and name shape one just to stay a little organized and change background to just background. OK, so click on your discord or whatever text this is for you. Go to your pen tool on the left side of your screen. Make sure it's on shape. Change the fill to like a little bit of a darker white like this and start over here on the left and hold left click and drag your mouse and just kind of do like a wave thing right like this then once it looks like this right click on it and click on clipping mask make sure it's right above your discord layer or whatever text this is or else it'll not work if you think it's too harsh turn the opacity down on it just a little bit you just want to add a little bit of a wave and i think it looks really cool next up we're going to add a border around the image so go to your rectangle tool and just drag a little rectangle out then grab the boxes and fill in the entire picture like this. It should snap to each corner. Then click fill and choose this X. Then go to stroke. Click on this black box and change it to white. Then turn up the stroke just a little bit to about here. And change this blend mode to overlay. And it should make a cool border. I don't know what's going on with all these shapes. It's actually kind of pissing me off. So how I get rid of them is I just get my pen tool. I click anywhere, I right click and I make a selection, I click OK and then hit Control D and it just gets rid of it. I don't know what is going on, maybe I'm stupid or maybe Photo P is being stupid. OK, next up, we are going to add color balance. So go down to the bottom right, click on color balance and drag it all the way above everything else. For red, go with negative 75. For green, go with negative 98. Also, this will vary depending on what color you're going for, but I'm going for like the purple blue look. And for blue, go with negative 39. Now here's the before and after. I mean, come on, that looks awesome. Next up, we need to add some light spots. So go down here to the bottom right and click on new layer. Go to your brush tool, hold alt and right click. If you drag right, it makes it bigger. Left makes it smaller, up makes it softer, down makes it harder. Make it as soft as possible. What the heck? Guys, I think I just lost all my progress. I got it back, but I don't know what's going on with Photo P today. It's kind of, you know, it's kind of irritating me, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, anyways, back on topic. We were adding some light spots, okay? so. Make sure your brush is pretty soft. And what is this box? I mean, what's going on, man? Make sure this top box is white. Then just kind of click around your image or around the text more specifically. And then once you're done with that, change the blend mode of it to screen or overlay, which I prefer overlay in this case. Maybe make it a little bit bigger in some spots. So it just adds a little bit more to it. Next up, we're going to add a drop shadow behind all of the text. So double click on your text layer right here. Mine's Discord. Go to Drop Shadow. Change the angle to 90 degrees. I would just leave it as is and do the same for Server Banner and the Line. Now the last thing we're going to do is go up to Window, Plugins, and Super Bloom right here. Click Install. Click this X. Go to your very top layer and click on Super Bloom right here. All you want to do is scroll down and adjust the brightness and click Add to Document. Now if you want to adjust this, just turn the opacity down a little bit. It'll make it less harsh. And that's literally all you have to do. Super easy and it looks really great. Now let's go ahead and export it. Go up to File, Export As, JPEG, 100% quality and click save. If you guys enjoyed it, there's tons of other videos on my channel where I show exactly how to do this stuff and more. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Before you go, don't forget to check out my website for tons of bonus content like my exclusive courses, graphics packs, and socials like my Discord server. If you want to level up your designs even faster, consider joining the Canva Creates channel membership. You'll get access to a folder packed with hundreds of effects, copyright free music, and more to take your content to the next level. Hit that join button or check the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Keep creating.